How are you all? Maybe you've had a good week. Just thought I'd slap my uh, camera on, give you an update of where I am. You might have seen me beekeeping stuff, so I've been busy in that. The sun is out, been marvellous the last few days. It's been really cold this morning. Really, you know, that autumnal air. But it's just building up a bit now, so we're going to get a few more days of decent weather, hopefully. Now, I've noticed a few people have had problems, not problems, but they've had a bit of a influx of um, algae. Or uh, blanket weed. And the blanket weed is when it's stringy. So, similar. I've had similar things in the last month. But I thought it was because I've started getting a UV. I've started using a UV. I thought it might be clumping up and making more um, single cell algae. Because it's breaking up the longer algae. If that makes sense. So, I had some blanket weed answer. Sorry, no more blanket weed it's called. No more blanket weed. And I've found it's brilliant stuff. I've tried clover leaf, I've tried the aqua source one and the most competitive in price and it works really quick as well is no more blanket weed. I found it's brilliant stuff. Um, I think it's $16.99 or $15.99 a tub. And I had, here it is, that's the one that I use. And it is low cloud in it, it is like um, it doesn't go completely white, but it's like um, it's almost like a little bit creamy, it goes and it lasts for about a day, and that's it. Brilliant stuff! I found this really, really good. I've used this for two well, two seasons now, and I've got no reason to change. Um, so I had half of this left, so this is enough. This one kilo is enough for 11,200 litres so I, so I've got 10,000 litre pond so I would dump half of this at a time well I'd probably dump the whole lot in normally I have a bit I have about about where my thumb is I have about that much left so I think I did and then I put that in this when I top this back up so I keep having a bit left over um, however so I had about half of this in here so I half treated and the walls, after a day or so, day and a half, the walls and the clarity of the water is a lot better. I've still got a bit of a yellow tinge with my water. I don't know why, it must be the organic compounds in there. I can really see the bottom of my pond now, as you can, I've got some leaves. I can see I've got a, a rubber boot here or something, I've got to get out. So I can really see the water cloud, which is good. One of the main things I keep noticing, and this is why I put it in also, is the skimmer. The skimmer just keeps getting clogged up within about three days. Look at that. The skimmer will just still working, but um, it's just obviously really pulling it through. So I'm having to wash that down. So I just thought I'd show you that. I've not cleaned my filters yet. Um, the fish are looking quite good actually. There's still the odd one with a red mark or so. See that one? I've not I've noticed the pond bottom has got clearer. I've switched feeds. So I'm now on Well they are. They are now on gold plus. The Takazuma Gold Plus, and you can use this at all seasons. You can feed this down to four degrees, which I never would. So this is 80%. This should consume 80% of it. So I've noticed that since using that, instead of my cheap stuff, a lot less waste, a lot less, lot less waste in the water. I've really noticed a massive difference actually, and it's cleared up. So to a point where. Hmm. You see the bottom? There's the bottom drain. So I've got a few dead leaves at the bottom, but there are there is a hell of a lot less waste now than there was. Obviously the bottom drain's dragged it out, so 
the, if the weather's still good, well, one evening, one afternoon, late afternoon when I finish work, I think what I will do, I will go to the effort of getting my pond over out and just give it a light sweep into the bottom and that will sort that out. So there's no organics at the bottom that's going to decay. Temperature, water temperature down now to 40, 4 degrees, so I'm now thinking about getting the pond balls back on. There they are. There's the pond balls in the bags, already bagged up ready. So I've got to, I'm contemplating that now, but I don't want to be looking at pond balls. So I'm going to rejig that, I think. Last year, I had, I made this viewing window thing, floating one. So I put that in so the fish can still come up and I can still see them. Um, but what I'm thinking is, although I'm not sure, I want it, I want, I was thinking of, building a section here, timber or something, and having some clear, whether it's clear glass, and obviously glass can be a bit, could it break here? I have got some panes that I was thinking of putting a piece of timber across here and then sitting them on on top of it so I can see them in, and then the rest be balls. So, the, so there's a bit of timber here, so the balls actually can't travel further because it hits the timber. But then at least I've got a strip that I can see, or getting some clear polycarb strip I've got some leftover stuff, it's not clear actually. Um, but then I can lift it up in the day, every day, and maybe have a good look at them. I've got some, no, I have got some uh, leftover stuff still. I've got some strips down there, as you can see. Got some leftover stuff, look. So I could strip that off and just have that that I could easily lift off. Um, or I could use my dome thing again. Here's my bags of balls. So yeah, I've got to rethink that because it's getting that time of year. The grow on koi and my grow on, well, they're doing fantastic. The water's gone greeny. It's going a, a, you know, a greeny colour. It's having an algae bloom because it's warmer in there. I'm eating it at 25 degrees. The sun's flooding in. The temperature's there. The food's going in. So what does that equals? All them three things equals an algae bloom. So that's what I've got in there because I've not got UV either. So I'm not bothered. The fish will enjoy that, but it just means that me having looking at them and checking on them is not as easy because obviously I'm looking in like that and I can't see them as well. I can just see the silhouettes of them and things like that. So checking them is more awkward, but that's doing great down there, leaving them to it. And as you know, I've got three centimetres growth on that last month. So hopefully I get another three cm. So I've got a, so in two months, I'm hoping to have a six centimetre growth and obviously girth. So hopefully next month, fingers crossed, we'll see what's happening there. Plant filter end of the year. This plant that I got is doing magnificent. It's put this much growth on in since I've had it three months. This Kyrex is starting to die back now. Well, you know, obviously the weather's changing. Um, this lily didn't kick off until about six weeks ago, so that's going to get frosted. <laughs> so that will won't normally. That's up here, really big, with flowers up here. So obviously that's took in it this year for some reason, but it's managed to re-sprout. But that will t get hit soon. Um, got this little pond plant that's growing there as well that's took off the lilies have done great this year um, this monkey flower has done well but that will go off soon this has been magnificent this year look at this look how high that's got this year so that's done great the good thing about that plant is it remains evergreen like this all year round so this i'll, I'll let, let this die off for a bit longer yet for another month and then i'll cut this all down trim it all down that's that lilies will obviously naturally die off where some of the leaves are going but it's still having a go bonsai is doing well core you're doing well so now the 
thoughts are now going to when do I put the covers on I know some people have put the covers on but I like to make the most of my pond because for me this is pond keeping having covers on I mean you know so if I can get away with having the pond covers on the least amount as possible and enjoy this so hopefully I can get away with the whole of October hopefully November's all right so I'm hoping another six weeks of managing like this and I might be hitting about 12s then 12 and 10s and then I'll put the um, the balls in hopefully first week of December or something like that in December when it starts to get consistently cold not the odd cold spell but a bit more consistent and then you know it'll drop them ups and downs and then probably flatten the temperature out a bit more and then makes it more steady so your fluctuations aren't going really cold you know dropping cold in the pond and then warming up in the day so it's that kind of stuff so it's tricky tricky time of year it's not great for any people eating your pond this year because you're going to get rinsed the energy suppliers if you've not looked into it yet whether you if you've got your own home you're going to everyone's going to get rinsed this year especially if you're coming off your tariff your tariff ends you're going to get absolutely nailed this year it's going to be a bad year for people so yeah um so in general all great uh not a lot to add really shading still on i'll leave that i'll probably leave that all the way through can't be bothered to take it down i'll leave it um the only risk i have got is that if it snows it's going to hold so i might have to take it down then so i'm just going to hose that off get the skimmer working back to full capacity again keep an eye on it I'm still not treated the pond or the fish had them out with slight ailments like that one's got on its side there look just a couple of them so what I'm thinking is that's just flashed see it that's the one with a couple of skin irritations look this one here it's got a couple of red marks on either side it's had them for a while now, it's had them since I had water trouble early on in the year. It's never managed to fully, you know, nip them in the bud, so I'm not sure what to do about them yet. Um, so I'm going to have to keep an eye on them. When I clean the pond bottom, I might just have to have them out, clean them with some cleaner, some cotton buds, some cotton balls, cleaner on there, give them a good rub, spray with antibac, put them back in. And then what I'm thinking of doing this year... For the first time and this might provoke debate but i think i'm going to get a sack of salt and when the plants die off i'm going to treat with a low level of salt in the water so it is uh, i get more of a balance and hopefully that salt will keep them ticking along through winter and do these slight ailments uh, the world of good um and keep away keep predators at bay as well also what i'm going to do i'm going to put um, a couple of doses of chloramine tea to knock off the bad bacteria so i'm going to put that in as well and then obviously later on maybe the salt maybe in december when i put the covers on that might be come later on and then basically enjoy them as much as i can in winter with my panels here every day i still come out and enjoy them even on christmas day i still do the same thing enjoy them got to check everything and keep them going so just a little catch up thanks for watching please subscribe please the notification bell please get some comments and chat going see you on the next one have a great week